Everybody, uh, welcome in. And uh, so this is the first of a multi-part series I'm going to do kind of talking about uh, digital recorders for video cameras. Primarily, we're looking at the Atomos Ninja Star, which is one of the newer ones that's come out from Atomos. And so I'm going to break down what its features are, what the specs are, and then I'm going to compare it to what it's, I think is probably its closest rival, although there's not really that many in the same space as, as the way this one's designed, but I would compare it to uh, the Blackmagic HyperDeck. So we're going to compare the two, and they're definitely, as much as they have some similarities, they definitely have a lot of differences as well. So we're going to compare them and not just figure out which is best, because they're both great, but the idea is wh which one is best for you. Who are these designed for? So that's what we're hopefully going to reach uh, by the end of the series. Um, if you're not familiar, the idea of a video recorder is something that you plug into your video camera, either through an SDI or typically HDMI cable, and it basically sends your video out to another recording device. And the reason you would do this is that most video cameras, when they record, they compress the video. So they squish it all down just to get more space on a memory card. So most consumer and even entry level prosumer, I guess you could say cameras, will record in a format like AVC HD, which compresses and smushes everything down. So to give you an idea of how much we're talking about as far as smushing it down, AVC HD records roughly at about 24 megabits per second, roughly in that range. It might vary depending on camera. I think some are up to like 28, 29, and then definitely even lower than that. And then to give you an idea on the uncompressed side, if you were to shoot in, let's say, Apple ProRes, which is a really great codec and it's very popular, you're looking at 200, 220 versus 24. So that's, you know, megabits per second. So that's a lot more data. So what does it mean to have a lot more data? Well, when you have a lot more data, you have a lot more control over the picture. Now, if you were to take two images, one just straight from an ABC HD camera, one from a ProRes, and you put them side by side, you actually may not see a ton of difference unless you really started blowing things up and looking at the pixels. But on initial glance, it's, it's going to actually look pretty similar. It's not until you take it into your editing program and you start trying to adjust things. So you start maybe bringing the highlights down, filling in the shadows, bringing in more light, and then doing some color grading. Maybe you want to give it a different feel. Maybe you want to apply some different looks on top. You know, you, could, you want to start playing around with it. As soon as you start playing with that AVC HD footage, you realize that there's no data behind those pixels you're seeing. And so as a result, the image breaks down a lot. You're going to get a lot more of a grainy image, a lot muddier looking faster as soon as you start trying to tweak it. When there's not as much data, for example, if you have an area that looks a little bit too bright, not blown out, because if it's blown out, you've lost that data anyway, but it's just a little bit too bright and you want to bring that down, ABC HD is not going to have a lot of data in that area. So there's not really a lot of room to bring it down. Let's say it's a sky or something like that. Or similarly in the shadows. Maybe someone's sitting and they have a little bit too much shadow on their face. You want to bring that out a little bit. You're not going to be able to do that as much with ABC HD. So that's where formats like ProRes come in that lets you have a much more robust file. It lets you do a lot more with it. And you can get a lot more creative looks with it. You can stylize it. You can grade it. You can fix things, change things. It just gives you a lot more latitude, and it just gives you a lot better result in the end. Um, the downside, obviously, is these are much larger files you're talking about. And that's something that we're going to hit on as we go through and compare the devices because they have a different uh, storage, different media, and that's going to definitely make a difference. So. Uh, this was just the intro. Um, I'm going to put the link up here, and then you'll see where to go to the next one. And the next part of this series, we're going to start looking at the Atomos. We're going to look at the features, the specs, what it does, who it's designed for, and kind of the strengths and weaknesses, you know, right out of the box. So thanks for checking out this one. Make sure to click over, and then I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.